Ain't you leave? Heading fog with the fog dog, straight to the top with the pace drop. Pace too hot, you can't keep up when he heats up and takes the lead. And all you see is Drake University. So it's time to subscribe for the best alive and go stride for stride with the Batman pride. It's Adam Fog coming at you with the top dog exclusive. It's Adam Fog exclusive. Alright, we're about 27 hours out right now from my first 1500 back uh, post appendix surgery. It's been getting on for two months since I last raced, Drake Relays. Um, so a little while since I've raced, but I'm getting back into decent shape. Uh, just had a 5.5k jog down to the local track, doing a few strides down here, and yeah, race day tomorrow. So 1500, first one back. The goals for tomorrow, basically, I just want to feel decent um, and try and win. It's a solid field, um, nothing like ridiculous, but it is reasonably strong for my first one back. Um, so yeah, just looking forward to getting back on the track and having a race. Um, I think the pacer is meant to be going like 59s or 60s, so hopefully uh, in terms of time, somewhere in the 340s, under 350 for sure, um, and anything quicker will, um, will be a bonus. Um, but yeah, feeling decent, strides tonight, um, and yeah, race day tomorrow. Hey, taking shots like a GoPro, think of my GoPro, going move too slow, think of my say so. Hey, now I'm fast like Stuart McSwain, moving real flashy, think I'm insane. 240 on the spot, and K on the dot, now they're begging me to stop. No, taking shots like a GoPro, think of my GoPro, going move too slow, think of my say so. Hey, now I'm fast like Stuart McSwain. Bob Daddy, back in the car, heading off to Loughborough. How are we feeling today? Uh, talk us through uh, Personally, I feel great. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, yes, it's another lovely day in England. A beautiful summer's evening. We're on our way to Loughborough. It's about an hour's drive. And uh, the fog dog's running at 9.25. It's currently just gone 6.30. So we should be there with a couple of hours to spare. Plenty of time for a, a snack, a warm-up watch some of the other races and then get the job done and um, very much looking forward to it. It's a long time since we've seen Adam run in England and uh, yeah, it should be a good evening. Should be a very good evening. And rewriting these old games. Hey, take a chance like a GoPro. Think of my GoPro. Bro, you move too slow. Think of my say so. Hey, now I'm fast like Stuart McSwain. Moving real flash, you think I'm insane. Too fully on the spot. K on the dot, now they're begging me to stop. No. Go on, Adam! Go on, Adam! Go on!
The bat. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I'm recording now, so it's got it all. But... Brilliant. <laughs> right, here we are, the Bimley Mega Chippy. Uh, if you don't know, uh, you should know, this is probably right now the world's most famous fish and chip shop. Uh, my cousins, Miles and Pierce, live about five minutes down the road from here. Binley Mega Chippy. Uh, we came here to get some fish and chips. Supposedly open 24 hours a day. Not open. A uh, little bit typical. Uh, pretty sad end to the evening. I was looking forward to getting a drink and some fish and chips, but we're going to have to eat something else. So um, that's the way it goes. Anyway, uh, look up Binley Mega Chippy. Uh, I'm in the location of, well, this fish and chip shop right now. Sad that it's shut, but that's the way it goes. Um, tonight's race, just to quickly touch on it. Uh, honestly, I thought I was going to be in a lot, lot, lot better shape than that. Um, I ran 338 two months ago, um, and tonight was 348, so 10 seconds slower than my best. Uh, obviously, I, I didn't quite expect to be at my best for tonight, um, but I thought I'd be able to, you know, do a fair bit better than I did. Um, with 150 to go, I just started getting past. I, I got on the pacer um, and tucked in behind the pacemaker. Didn't feel great straight away, to be honest. I think I was 59, 158, 159, and then 258, 259 through 400, 800, and 1200. And it just never felt that comfortable. I think I went through the bell in 344, maybe. So I closed in like 64 to run 348, uh, and I came six. So really not ideal. Uh, I've got nine days until the British Champs. I still do plan on racing and I know that my legs will be better for, for getting a race under my belt. Um, it is really frustrating because I've, I've never really had anything like this where I've had a, well, major surgery. I've never had anything like that before. Um, I thought I was in much better shape, um, but clearly I'm just not quite there yet. But I guess there's definitely some positives to take away. I was, I was in a pretty good spot for quite a lot of the race. Uh, I got through 1200 in sub three minutes, I think, probably 259-ish. Um, and then, yeah, the wheels kind of fell off and I just had nothing with, you know, 200, 250 to go. Um, and yeah, I started getting passed by quite a lot of people, finished six, so that's the way it goes. Uh, nine days till British Champs. I plan on getting another couple of sessions in before that. And hopefully, next week will be better um it's good to get one under the belt even though it's not ideal uh yeah not a lot else to say not happy with tonight but i guess in the grand scheme of things it could be a lot worse i had pretty major surgery five and a half weeks ago so can't complain too much
I think I've said everything I want to say. Um, thank you for sticking around. I will be back, obviously. It's just the way it goes. Um, but I am getting better every day, and I look forward to the next one. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Uh, and, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. We're going to go get some food now. Not fish and chips, though. So.